So I have long maintained that whatever we see bipartisan support for a particular piece of legislation in Congress, that usually means that we should be worried because both Democrats and Republicans are teaming up to probably screw over the American people. And I'm skeptical because whenever we actually see both parties agree on something, usually they are expanding our already bloated military budget or agreeing on more austerity. So it's usually bad. But in this instance, we see a bill with bipartisan support so universal that the Senate passed it unanimously. So you've got to think, how bad is it, right? It's actually not bad. In fact, most people would agree that it's good. It's popular and there are some benefits with regard to mental health. Shocking, right? Not even a single holdout. Well, what is it? Well, it's the Sunshine Protection Act, and as Alexander Bolton of The Hill explains, the Senate on Tuesday approved a proposal to make daylight saving time permanent, which if passed in the House and signed by President Biden, would mean Americans would never again have to set their clocks back an hour and lose an hour of afternoon daylight in the fall and winter. If enacted into law, it would also mean that early risers lose an hour of daylight in the mornings in November, December, January, and February. Now, what's shocking to me is that there wasn't a single holdout. Even Mitch McConnell supported this. You'd think that he'd be opposed to this just to suck more life out of the American people, just to be mean, but he supports this too. Um, now, immediately after this passed, it started to trend on Twitter because people were shocked that something like this that's popular would get passed because our Congress is functionally incapable of doing anything. So the fact that they did this with universal support... Um, it's honestly weird to see. Now, a poll conducted by The Economist and YouGov found that two-thirds of Americans prefer to not have to change the clocks twice a year, and specifically, they want the extra hour of daylight in the evenings, or permanent spring-forward mode. Now, aside from the fact that this is incredibly popular, there's also a lot of health benefits, as I alluded to at the beginning of this video. Now, this is all laid out in an article for CNN, co-written by Ed Marquis, and Marco Rubio. Yes, that Ed Marquis and that Marco Rubio. This is weird. It feels wrong almost. But here's what they say. The effects of darker afternoons on our mental and physical health can be serious. The biannual transition of spring forward and fall back disrupts circadian sleeping patterns, causing confusion, sleep disturbances, and even an elevated risk to heart health. The rate of heart attacks spikes by 24% in the days following spring forward in March, according to a 2014 study from the University of Michigan. Another study published in 2016 found stroke rates may also increase by 8%. Year-round daylight saving time could also decrease the likelihood of fatal car accidents, which jumped 6% in the days following the time change, according to a 2020 study from the University of Colorado. A stolen evening sunlight can also negatively impact mental health. A Danish study found that hospitals seen 11% uptick in patients with symptoms of depression immediately following the switch from sunnier daylight saving time to the darker standard time in the fall. By making our days brighter year-round, we can also permanently speed up the clock on season depression triggered by the dark days of winter. Okay, so it sounds good. I actually did not know all of this, but it seems reasonable. I, for one, do experience seasonal depression, typically around the time where we have to set the clocks back and it gets darker earlier. Um, It just, it feels really dreadful and I hate it. So this all makes sense to me. Uh, now, for all of the benefits, I have to point out that there are potential drawbacks. So a lot of people don't know this, but actually in the 1970s, we did this before. 79% of the American people wanted permanent daylight savings time, but guess what? After they did it, support for that dropped by 37 points. Why? Well, because pre-sunrise fatalities actually increased by 2% particularly for school-aged children who were hit by cars, and it was just more dangerous for them to go to school while it was still dark. And this actually prompted some schools to delay start times until the sun came up just because they thought that it was so dangerous. Now, if you want to read the full story about this, I'll link you to a Washingtonian article, which is really interesting, and I don't think a lot of people actually know about this. So we've been here before where everybody wanted permanent daylight savings times. They did it, and then everybody said, no, 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 change it back. We don't like it. Um, so will this happen again? Who knows? But I mean, it's kind of a balance, right? There are drawbacks to 
having to set the time back, uh, spring forward, fall back. I mean, the seasonal depression and whatnot, but there's also some potential downsides to this as well. So it's important to keep that in mind. Uh, I, for one, um, you know, I, I, I think I support this overall. Hopefully the situation wouldn't be as disastrous as it was the first time when we changed this back. But let's go to the internet to get some reactions because this was trending. So looking at the trending page, uh, I think that the responses here were pretty uh, humorous. Mark Burns asks rhetorically, but who will enforce the Sunshine Protection Act? Well, of course, Mario. Who else? Karen says, I don't need the Sunshine Protection Act because I already have all the sunlight I need. Now she shares a picture of one of the stars from K-pop sensation, Monster X. Lindsay says everyone is so excited for the Sunshine Protection Act. Me, meanwhile, I like darkness. So I would prefer that this passed. But, um, you know, we'll see. It's just some positive news. And to actually unironically applaud Republicans and Democrats in the Senate, in the Senate of all places, it feels wrong. It feels like I should feel bad and shame uh and shame because I, i'm saying that they did good but unironically they did something good and that's again it just feels I, I feel dirty saying it so um yeah take from this what you will we may not have to set the clocks ahead or back ever again i'm gonna come do not come come Come, 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 come